Hello everybody, welcome back to my Country Sparkles channel. I'm Rachel and today I'm doing something a little bit unique and we are in my bathroom. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm going to be installing a Samodra bidet. Do you know what a bidet is? A bidet washes off your badum when you're done using the bathroom. So in light of the toilet paper shortage with the COVID-19 pandemic, many people didn't have toilet paper. And I was like, you know, if we don't have toilet paper, I would like a backup system. We didn't lose water, which was fortunate. As long as we don't lose our water, I would still be able to wash off after using the restroom. Bidets are also beneficial for other bathroom situations that are not just lack of toilet paper in the toilets in the grocery stores, such as hemorrhoids, after babies, acid poo, there, I said it. All the joyous things. But, so I got this, this off of Amazon, super easy, it was on sale, so I love me a good sale. And I'm gonna install this, and get it on my toilet, and get it going. Let me show you what I've got, what it contains. So the tools I think I'll need, I'm not 100% sure we're gonna go as, or figure this out as I go. But I've got a screwdriver because I'm gonna need this to unscrew my toilet lid. And I know I'm gonna have to do that to put the, the day underneath the toilet lid. And I've got wrenches because I have to hook up the water. And I think I might need these. Not 100% sure yet, we'll find out. And then the bidet itself contains the bidet. So I chose this bidet because it had two cleaner attachments. One for the rear, your rear end, which shoots like straight up pretty much. And then one for ladies, shoots a little bit forward. So it can clean off all you know, menstrual stuff and forward. So that, and it has like buttons. <sighs> A little dusty. So it has like, I'm pretty sure the pink one's the, the like front and the uh, darker one's the back. Oh no, that's the darker one. I don't know what this is. We'll have to figure it out. It almost looks like sound, but I'm pretty sure no sound comes out of this. So bump, I'd say bum, front, stop. I don't know. Extra button, we'll figure it out. And then it's got like light heavy light off too, which that might be good to like keep it in the off position for like if kids are around, cause you know, kids don't need to be spraying their faces with this. No, gross. But the water that's coming out of this is clean water. It's not like your toilet bowl water that's gonna be coming up and spraying you. It's gonna be coming straight from your plumbing system. So the day itself, his instructions. Oops, I glanced at a little bit before. We've got the water hose that will hook up to my wall. These little things that, that go into the circle to help attach it. Got some plumber's tape to wrap around to keep, so you like wrap it around here to keep water from leaking out and then you'll wrap it on the mail end that's, um, that we'll be attaching this to. That's it, packing paper. Okay, so for starters, go over the instructions super fast. It is take off toilet lid, put on bidet, put on bidet circle thingies in the back, screw the toilet lid back on, attach bidet to your water hose. And that's it, so let's get going. Here is my lovely master bathroom toilet. And yes, I did clean it before this video because nobody's perfect, but also nobody needs to see a, my dirty toilet on a YouTube video. So this is our toilet, but just a warning, underneath these, I only clean them once a year, spring cleaning time, and that's around right now. And so these have not been cleaned under. They will be nasty. They always are. Everybody's is. If you don't clean this once a year, you should probably clean them at least once a year. So for starters, we're gonna take the toilet seat off and to do that we have to pop this up for it there we go see that 
Already seen a little bit of nasty. Oh, dang it, I just cracked that. Darn it, I'm gonna have to glue that back together. Oh boy, this is not going so well. My toilet seat's cracking. Oh well, that's okay. I'll fix that, it'll just pop back on. It will be fine. It just covers these so they don't get all icky. So take your screwdriver and I have this a bit can change in and out of it. You want the large bit on it and you just screw it off. That one has, they have nuts underneath it too. So you can hold the top and do the bottom, however you want to do that. Okay, like I said, I have some disinfectant wipes. This is obviously Sam's Club brand, not Lysol brand. But I'm going to wipe this all off. Look at that, yuck. Okay, and so really easy to clean. Just take your wipe and scrub it off. And that's it. Also get in the hole, since you're in here, might as well get the whole thing clean. Get underneath it, because yes, things will run, especially when you have men using the bathroom. I love you, honey. <laughs> so there you go, all clean. I'm gonna clean the toilet seat um, screws real fast. Now I have everything all clean, so get your bidet here, and we're lining that up. There, just stay. And then the little circle pieces, the instructions say to lay them this way. So we're just putting them there. Maybe. Oh, so they just snap in. It's a little bit of effort. I just want to make sure I was doing it right. Don't need to break this. There we go. Not too bad. And then this one. So you want to lay it horizontal, just like that. Okay. Next, you put the toilet seat back on. So I like to tighten these down enough to make sure they're nice and secure. Make sure your toilet seat's straight on there. If they're not, like you don't want too tight because you don't want to strip your screws. But if it's too loose, then your toilet seat will wiggle around. The seat's already wiggling around when you go to use it. That means that these are loose. So just tighten them up and then you won't have that problem anymore. Now all you do is you fold these caps back over, put them back on. This one's almost fall off, falling off. <laughs> But you can't even tell if it's on, it's not gonna pop off or anything. So there it is. It's all, that part's installed. Back here behind the toilet is where your water line connects from the house to your toilet. For starters, make sure, so this is the on off flow. So the water's always coming through here and then coming up through here. And then once um, the tank is full, and then it has a balloon thing in there that shuts the valve so it stops filling. Anyways, make sure you turn off this water. If you don't, when you disconnect it up there, you will get water everywhere. So right now it's on, turn it to the right, and now it should be off because my toilet won't be working. So now let's move up here and this is where we're going to connect the hose at okay ready for the test to see if the water is actually turned off <laughs> well, let's see if I can get this off so first of all I have to take this off there we go I did not need a wrench this is hand screw on which is pretty awesome so no wrench needed there's some water. Oh, I'm going to grab a towel. Okay, so 
the water is not spraying out yay but it is dripping out which is expected because I'm in this tube's full of water so I threw a towel under there real quick more water there it is dump that water out onto your towel there it is we have iron in our water so that's why that's yellow so now grab the tube that came with the bidet and grab your plumbing tape. Oops. I cut off about six inches of this pipe tape and as I'm putting this on here, if I remember right, you want to put it on the way that the um, nut's gonna screw on there. So righty tidy is what I'm going for. Hopefully that's the right way. I know some things in plumbing is backwards, so we'll see. But I'll screw it on there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just straight is better. So, so that's on there. And they've also put some plumbing tape on there. And now screw this on. There we go. Got it. Okay, so this nut here um, moves independent of this, so we just screw it on and try and keep the rest of the hose on. It doesn't have to be crazy tight or anything. I just say screw it on hand tightness since that's how tight the other one was. And I guess we'll see when we turn on the water, if it starts to leak and needs to be tighter, then I'll get a wrench. Okay, so that's on. Now let's put this guy on here. So it was ready tidy, so I put that, ele or not electrical, plumbing tape on the right way. Yay. This is much easier to put on, this plastic nut, than that metal one was. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on to connecting it to the bidet itself. Here is the back side to the bidet controller. And this is where we will attach the other end of the hose that came with the bidet right here. And I also put plumber's tape on there just to be safe. Okay, so I finger tightened this, but I can do a little bit more. I think I'm gonna get my wrench here and just do a little bit, because I really don't want this to <laughs> explode everywhere. And the other one, by the tank of the toilet, I feel like I got that really good, but this one, it didn't do quite so many rounds by finger tighten tightening it. So I'd rather be safe. Sorry. Okay, that's good. I'm not gonna torque it down to just where I felt like it was tight. Okay, now let's turn on the water. Here's our test, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried that it's gonna spray water everywhere. But let's hope I did it right, oops, sorry. I'm trying to bump the camera as I'm reaching around it. Oh, it's leaking. I didn't even put that part on. Okay, so it's leaking here. I didn't put that on, but apparently they didn't have a screw all the way on. So let's screw that on all the way. Try two. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Okay. Yeah, I think so. There we go, I'm not feeling any leaking. I don't see any squirting. So woohoo, 
we did it. There it is, we installed our bidet. Now, let's see how it works. Okay, now let's see how this thing works. Let me show you what the buttons look like again. So we've got a pink, a green, a red, which I'm sure means stop, and a blue bum. And then we've got, I'm guessing, like no water, a little bit of water, a lot of water. So I'll tell you which button I'm pushing. And I got me a paper plate so it can score on that. So here's your bum. Okay. Hopefully I don't get my phone all wet. So let's do, so I'm gonna turn that to no water. So just letting a little bit of water through, but no squirting up. So let's, oh, oh, oh. So I can like raise the intensity of it. So I turn the knob up, see that? So this is the front wash. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, so that's, okay, so that was just where it's pointed to the medium, not even all the way up. Let's do all the way just to see, okay, ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that is very intense. Holy cow. That definitely will shower your behind. Okay, so now, Let's go back to medium intense, not all the way intense, and do the green, let's see what that does. Okay, so I think that's just a, clean it out, okay, sweet. So clean it out, push the red button to stop it, and then let's do the rear cleaner. There we go, so that is definitely shooting up higher. Let me do, I'll change the intensity. So you can do just like a little spritz. So that's like barely spritzing and so there's a little dot up here and it's pointed down. I'll turn it up. Ah! Oh my gosh. Woo, that will be a bum clean. Okay, there you go. That is how it works. Now my toilet needs to be wiped down and It'll be super clean now. After testing this bidet and seeing how it works and how much it shoots, a thought came to my mind of, well, so your bum's clean now after it gets sprayed off, but it's still wet, <laughs> so what do you do? So thinking about that, it's just like showering off your rear end. So just take a towel and dry yourself off or maybe keep a washcloth by your toilet and you can dry yourself off or have a washcloth per person or something like that if you need. Or if you're just conserving toilet paper, but you still have some and you want to use this, then it'll only take like three squares to dry off your seat and then you're good to go. And you can just put that in the toilet and flush it away. So those are my thoughts about what do you do now because you're going to be all wet because it is a quite a sprayer down there. There you have it, how to install and use the Samodra bidet. I'm pretty excited for it. This is a great emergency tool in case you run out of toilet paper, whether there's none at the store or you just run out of it at home, quite frankly, and also a useful everyday tool. So it's not just gonna be sitting down in the basement waiting for you to run out of toilet paper. And if you don't wanna use it, it can just sit there in your toilet and it doesn't take up much room. I think it's gonna be great, a great addition to our bathroom. So thank you for watching this YouTube video of mine. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I try to answer those as best as I can. And I love hearing from you guys. So I look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you next time.